Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse number 8, NIV. Okay, one to go. At that time, the Lord set apart the tribe of Levi to carry the ark of the covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord, to minister, and to pronounce blessings in your life and his name, as they still do today. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. Take your seat. Only these people said it. Take your seat. When you are seated far above principalities and power, that is kingdom. Your destiny has been programmed by God and ordained to excel. By God's plan and by God's creativity. The purpose of creating you is for you to become a living proof of all that God is, that man is not. By virtue of your encounter with grace, you are not supposed to be pitied because you are not in the pit. The position that God has placed you and I in Christ Jesus is a position of honor. It's a position of royalty. It's a position of favor. Now, why do we find ourselves in the place we are in today? The Bible said there was a shift. There was a derailing. The first man that was created, instead of him to carry out the instruction and carry his wife along, he ran alone. And the mistake of the wife caused God pain. And God said, they can no longer dwell in Eden. He drove them out. Wickedness was introduced. Their son killed the brother. And in the time of Noah, God looked at it and he said, no. I still need, I can't just waste my investment. I need to do something about my investment. I must preserve my investment. The Bible said wickedness was on the surface of the earth. And God repented. He regretted that he has created man. May we not make God regret again. And he said, I will destroy every living thing on the surface of the earth. Including animals. He said, in all of this, but Noah found grace in the sight of the Lord. You will find grace. What kill me will not kill you. What pull people down will not pull you down. As we speak in Ukraine today, thousands of people have died, but people escaped. Is that not so? You will be among the remnant. I decree and I declare that in this year 2022, the evils of the year will not come now our dwelling. Only with our ears we shall hear and the devil will be put to shame. Now this morning, I want to speak of what I titled Assessing God's blessing. Assessing God's blessing. From the scripture we read, the Bible said, and God set apart the tribe of Levi to carry the ark of the covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord, to minister and to pronounce blessings in your life and his name as they still do today. Now, before we go into this, we are going to look at, I've told you before, that blessing means empower to succeed. Is that not so? I'm going to look into the ancient definition, Hebrew ancient definition of the blessing. Are you ready? Now, blessing in the ancient Hebrew means anointed to win. I like that one. Anointed to win. Number two, it means empowered to overcome anything. I don't know what you want to overcome. But you have been empowered to overcome when the blessing rests. And lastly, impossible to cause. 
In other words, when the blessing rests upon you, it becomes impossible for causes to penetrate. Now, if that be the case, why is it that destinies have still been affected? Ignorance. The scripture says in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So when you understand your position in Christ, according to the kingdom pattern, then you begin to understand your position in him, not position outside him. We are seated in Christ, in heavenly places, not with Christ, in Christ. Now, if I be in Christ, Christ is no other a cause. If I be in Christ, I am a new creation. My natural biological pattern and DNA of my father does not guarantee what happens in my life. It is the DNA in Christ that guarantees what happens in my life. Now, please understand this. Because your position, your understanding in Christ automatically enforces your boldness and triggers your faith. Your boldness in Christianity or in Christendom is on the platform of revelation about him. When he began to tell them, he said, when you want to pray, pray in this order. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is. In other words, in heaven, everything about the blessing, they are anointed to win, no failure. In heaven, they are empowered to overcome, no, no, no defeat. In heaven, it is impossible to cause them. So, bringing the kingdom to earth automatically requires some people that have body, not just a God. Because God does not have the form of our body. Okay? Now, for, uh, for him, for his kingdom to be here on earth, he decided to say, let us make man in our own image after our likeness. Listen, now, when God created man, the, the scripture said, he breathed into him the breath of life. And that breath of life automatically made us God. Not this cutting, not this flesh. Because the flesh is our problem. The reason why we fight each other is because of what the flesh is telling us. I am superior to him. She is not in my class. Ah, I cannot stay like this. I need to do something like this. So because of that, our flesh dictates and help us to navigate in life instead of allowing the spirit, the God in us to help us navigate. If I understand my position in Christ, nothing in the physical can limit me. You know why? I am a God. I need a body shape to be a rep of God on earth. So the reason why we feel each other is because we are on earth. Now, your position here on earth automatically helps you or your position in Christ spiritually helps your position on earth to be authenticated. So, when you are here deputizing as God's rep or Christ's rep, you are anointed to win. No devil can destroy your blessing. You are empowered to overcome. No power is, is, is big enough to defeat you in life. And lastly, you are impossible to be caused. Let them gather. The Bible said they shall surely gather, but their gathering is not of God. Because their gathering is not of God, they will not stand. Isaiah 7:7. 7, 7. It said, Thus saith the Lord. It shall not stand, nor shall it come to pass. Is talking from the kingdom mindset, no religious mindset. If you are kingdom in your mindset, you don't curse with your mouth. James 3.10 told us that. Your mouth is anointed to bless. He said, out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be what? So, 
Your words become useless when you use it anyhow. Your words become powerful when you manage and understand the weight of your words. We believe in prophetic declaration. But do you know that some people still don't believe in it? When they are happy, they flow with it. If they are not happy, don't. No, this ministry is foundation on prophetic declarations. We rise and thrive here by the revelation of prophetic pronouncement. I told the lady, I said, listen, by March, by April this, you are married. Three men will come. The one that comes from this tribe, it will come to pass. That was it. And she got married in March, uh, in April. Now, she is not a member here. What happened? I was operating from the kingdom perspective, not a human perspective. Every one of us, we have the power, we have the unction to, to function in that capacity. But your maturity in Christ is what determines your performance in him. Your fear is still there because you are not matured yet. Fear is the opposite of faith. When you are immature, fear takes over. When you become mature, faith replaces fear. Am I still talking to people here? Now that we live in a turbulent times in our world, like what the world is experiencing right now, we need to walk in the blessing of the Lord. What is bringing them down is propelling you, is sustaining you, is leading you. Why? Because you are operating in the blessing. Nobody can secretly cause your business and your business suffer. You know why? You are operating in the blessing. That is why it's important that you do everything not to break the edge. The Bible says, he that breaks the edge, serpent will bite. There is no way the, devil, the serpent can bite if there is no crack in what you do. Your character can bring a crack. Your attitude can bring, bring a crack. The devil can attack you and bring you down. On the ground that there is a crack. He that break the edge, serpent will bite him. Come on, say, I hear you. Within the week, one of our pastors was teaching us, and he said, in this kingdom, there are systems of advantage that you need to take advantage of. And when you are disadvantaged in all of this, you cannot advance in life. He was talking about the kingdom. You can't be in the kingdom and be behaving outside the kingdom. It doesn't work. If you are going to New York, okay, you say you want to go to America. If you are buying tickets, you say, I want to buy a ticket to America. They will ask you, where, which state are you going in America? You tell them the state. You don't say, ah, that's, that should be my headache, not your headache. Give me a ticket to America. Will you get tickets? They will never issue a ticket. Because you need to understand the state and the city of London for your ticket to be authenticated. There is no confirmation. You can buy a ticket until it's confirmed to a city and an airport. There is no way you can take off. You cannot be in this kingdom and behave like unbeliever on the street and expect the angels that work in this kingdom to work for you. It doesn't work. This is where I am taking you. You must understand this. The lifting of every, every man on earth is God. But the time of lifting is determined by you. Did you catch what I just said? God lifts everybody. But the, the time allotted for lifting is your decision. It's what you do. It's how you do what you do that determines where you will be eventually. Now, men of God are one of the systems of advantage God has given to the church. 
it is dangerous for you to wage war against your man of God. Even if you are enjoying now, it's a disguise. The devil is doing everything to separate you very far before they nail you. And then when you cry, there will be no help. Pastor, are you trying to control us? No, 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 no. These are secrets that have kept some of us alive that there is no better yesterday. There is no crying or regretting. He said, look at the scripture. At that time, the Lord set apart. They tried to carry the ark of the covenant. Not everybody. Today, you see everybody calling. There are different men of God. There are those called by God. There are those called by men. I see you, you are committed. I call you, I put oil on your head. It is me that called you, not God. Are you understand what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people don't understand. There is no basics for their calling. So when the devil shows up, he can keep them down for life. What sustains you and releases you is your ability to stay connected to who has called you. Example, assistant pastor Lot. He was wealthy. He was blessed. Things were working for him. All of a sudden, he disconnected to start his own. He made money. Abi, he was very wealthy in the land. But one day, judgment came on the land. He lost everything. Because he has nothing to sustain. Every destiny that is fulfilled on the platform of greatness is where your will and his will line up. That's how it works. And he set some apart to teach them, to carry the ark and to pronounce blessing on them. In the midst of pronouncing blessing, <laughs> you know I was saying, I am a pastor that does not make my children pastor. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I will be so stupid and foolish to force my children to be, a past to be pastoring. If they have calling, fine. If they don't have calling, they have no business on this platform. Let them serve God from wherever gift they can use. Today, a lot of destiny has been spoiled. Why? They are not in the will of God for their lives. Find out. Daddy, I sense the hand of God upon my life. Really? Okay. Let me hear your experience. It gave me the experience. Sit down. We'll sit down. Okay. And I sensed it and God is telling me he's a pastor. I will, I will pour you on his head. I will call somebody to come and pour you on his head. But if I have no conviction, nobody give me prophecy. Your son has a calling. This thing can make you. This thing can destroy you. Don't look at the suit. Don't look at the shoe. Look at the load. Look at the body. All those pastors you hear, he fall. He go do one charm. He go do one thing. It was, listen, it was pressure. Like what we learned in the first service. He needed to take risk to sustain the people. The man went to carry drugs. To travel abroad and come back. He has crowd. But you don't know the secret behind the crowd. When God gives you a prophet, do a research on that prophet. If he's not genuine, remove your head under his grace. Am I talking to people here? It is risky to miss it after struggling. A man said, one of the governors said, he said, people in Lagos must not go to hell. All of them should go to heaven. How many of you saw it? He said, because people in Lagos, they are already... Because of what happened around. The man is talking. He said, I can't stay in Lagos. The same thing with me. If I stay in Lagos, we drive in town, I'll have a headache. The way I see, woo, 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 everybody's, my head will just be turning. I can't stay. When I enter Lagos, I confine to my hotel. When from hotel to airport, airport, fly. As I'm coming back to airport, hotel, fly. Back to Benin. You know why? I am not used to it. And there are people in Lagos when they come to Benin, say, Kai, Benin is boring. What? There's no life here. And we are enjoying it. 
There's what they call habitat. It is natural for fish to stay in the waters. It is not natural for a goat to stay in the water. The goat can find itself in the water and try to escape out. You and I, it's not natural for us to stay in water. Crocodile can stay on the land and can stay in the water. Now, the same way, you and I, we have the ability to stay in the spirit realm, operate in the spirit, and operate in the physical. That is it. We can operate up there, we can operate here. What makes us operate there is revelation. What makes us operate there is the world. Now, God has appointed a priest according to the scripture to pronounce blessing in his name according to Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 18. There are ways where the avenue through which the blessing of the Lord will come upon the people. The declaration of a man of God upon the people in the negative form that came to pass does not authenticate his calling in God. It only authenticates his position in the realms of the spirit. If a man places curse on you, he's a priest of God. He places curse on you and the curse follow you. I hear them say, I will place curse on you. Such a man has lost God or he's lost in God, from God. We are called to put blessings. There are ways to get this blessing and one of it is prophetic pronouncement. That's why you can't hear me stand on this platform and not release prophetic declaration. That is one of the avenue, the system of advantage God has given to me on this platform to push you into your destiny. You will not fail. Amen. You will not be shamed. Amen. Under my watch, no cause will work in your life. Amen. Under my leadership, no devil can derail your destiny. Amen. The Bible said they shall surely gather, but not according to him. Now, every gathering that is not of God, if I hear your amen, they have expired. Amen. The Bible said, they are to place blessing, declare the blessing, speak forth what they want to say. What stood out for me from that scripture is that God set up a system through which the people could receive his blessing through their declarations. God uses people to reach people in this kingdom. The priest we are set up to pronounce his blessings upon the people. The very fact that he set up priest to bless is evidence enough that God wants you to be blessed. Anybody that step into redemption grace, they are kingdom addicts and they are godly achievers. That's why I teach the way I teach. You don't see me teach demons. Because my calling is to bring you to the saving knowledge where you become a godly achievers for kingdom advancer or advancement. Now, if you are not advancing the kingdom with your blessing, then you are breaking off from this umbrella. This is the secret. He said to me, if you don't want to beg or stay behind your mates, stick with your teaching of grace and redemption. Why do we need redemption? There is already a problem. So don't bring the problem. I don't teach problem. I teach solution. Why do we need grace? Grace enhances. It empowers to succeed. Because people are already failing. So why must I come and teach you how demon possess people? My duty is to assume demons. It's not my duty to start teaching you how you will fail. There are failures everywhere. It's hard to succeed over failure. That's my duty. 
And one of the ways of carrying that out is making pronouncement and declaration. Jesus did the same thing in the book of Luke chapter 24 verse 50. The Bible said he lifted up his hands and blessed them. He lifted up his hands and blessed them. Now the question is, are you blessing or you are cursing? Every raging family member is a blesser. Every family here a raging ministries. You are supposed to be an empowerer. When there is problem, you solve it. You don't stay away from problem. Because when you stay away and pretend not to know there is a problem, something dies in you. Automatically, you will be used to seeing problem and not solving problem. It's one way God taught me. When you see water on the ground, instead of you crossing it to say, who poured this water here? Clean the water. So you have zero tolerance to negative things. When people are sad, you, are, you can't eat. We're talking, I and my family were talking at home and we're discussing. I was telling my wife and my children, I said, what gives me joy in life is to see people happy. I want to see people come around, they eat. If, if I know what you are passing through, I should be able to give it to you. That is where my joy and fulfillment is. It's not acquisition. I was telling my wife and my children. So they should also key into that. That was what I was telling them. Our life is not complete until we are completing people. You are blessed to be a blessing. He said, in blessing, I will bless thee. In multiplying, I will multiply thy seed. In thy seed shall all nations of the earth be blessed. In thy seed. You carry what will be a blessing to generations. It's a secret. Ultimately, we are blessed with every spiritual blessing in heaven heavenly places according to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. But the kingdom of God is voice activated. Look at it. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who had blessed us with every spiritual blessing on the line. Where? In the heavenly places in Christ. But for it to be, we need to activate it. So the kingdom of God is voice activated. Until you speak it, you don't see it. In Romans 4, 17, he called those things that be not as though they were. The kingdom of God is voice activated. What you don't speak, you don't see. Don't call the problem, call the need. My son was doing very, very badly in school. My first son. Very, very bad. His, his situation became a problem to all of us. How can a first son be like this? So, we, be, we are enemies. We don't agree. He is so afraid when he sees me. My daughter will always call me, Daddy, this is you. If you intimidate this boy, it will bring shame to you. He said, make him your friend. That thing hit me like tornado. Anytime I travel out of the country, wherever country I am, I have time to spend time. Internet is there. We we'll speak. I can be on phone with her for two hours, one hour. We we'll talk back and forth, discussing issues. She said, Daddy, I want you to do something for me. I said, what do you want me to do? He said, make Maxwell your friend. I said, it's not serious. He said, yes, because you too, you are not serious. You need to have a child that can talk sense to your head. Any child you intimidate will bring disgrace to your life. The first thing I did as I landed, I taught him how to drive. So I say, Maxwell, you are driving. I'll drive out of the road. He will drive from maybe off road to our house. I started doing that. We started talking. I said, No, not like that. Like this. 
focus. At times I drive to the house, I say, park this car. I'll just walk away. Something in me will tell me, what if he, he, he go hit the fence? I say, if he hit, I will fix it. The guy will park the car well. Better than me. So now I was so free. I just say, go and park the car. Man said, take, park the car. At times, I just come and say, you are driving home. From here, we drive from here to the house. He was doing all that. Before we know it, he started releasing himself. Releasing. He was going to write his mock exam. The mother said, you are taking him there. So I took him there. I looked at him. I didn't pray for him. I said, you are my first son. Go and win. If you give me straight results, I will buy you suit. He said, okay. No prayer. He just walked into the exam. The guy blast, tear up. Why I came? Pia. Neko. Shh. Eh? Did they walk like this? Yes. Your mind is destroying the child. Look at you. Blockhead. When the head don't conk, it go test time for your head. Go knock and toa. You will know how far. He said, look at you. Goat. Wait for her. One day, it go, it go enter you. What you speak is what you will see. The kingdom of God is voice activated. Don't allow negative word to come to you. Return it back to sender. Am I talking to people here? Ah, the thing where they say here, I know just like a God forbid. Don't let, don't let the word stay. <laughs> there are some people that carry evil sentence. As you just say, this, this is your shop, sir. Everything where they say, now so so dear, 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 dear. Ah, now wow, say God forbid. The best people shop here. Good people, better people, now here than the shop. Why are your own call different? My dear, you need help. Oh. Buying things here, you will testify. Let and waka, the thing will ring bell. You can't buy things here and not want to come back. The kingdom of God is voice activated. Speak into that, that child's life. The boy got admission to school. When he finished exam, I went to Spain. I bought him, I got him some suits, about three suits. The kingdom of God is voice activated. Stop cursing that child and bless that child. You can be strict with them, but don't lose sight of something within. Your child is your retirement benefits. Your child carries what will make you smile for life. Your child can make you become mother of doctor, father of president. Obama's father ran away from the child and the mother. Ran to England and became a steward cooking for a white man. When the son became president, he was happy to go and bring his father. The father died. You can't reap where you did not sow. Do you know what that means? The father of the president of America. Even the person is cooking for or working for we, we come out and say, Your Excellency, sir. But before that, the enemy kill him. And I stand to declare, you will see your children become better and bigger. In this kingdom, we activate it by prophetic declaration. We are already here. Our children shall be far better than us. Our children will take steps. That when we look at them, we'll be proud of them. In the mighty name of Jesus. What am I saying in effect? God wants to bless you. His blessing is released through declaration. When God wants to bless anyone, all of a sudden, there is a change of mindset. Now, I want you to begin to see yourself. Do you actually see yourself getting better? Or get it bitter. 
You succeed first in your mind before you succeed in the physical. Am I talking to people here? See it and walk in it. Walk into it. How many of you, you want to enter your house? You use back, enter. You look at the door, is that not? You look at the door, you focus on the door, you go straight to the door. You must see where you are going before you enter. What do you see? What are you seeing? Do you see a future? Or you see negative things? I told my wife one day, I said, the future I am seeing is almost burning my eye. He said, I'm not seeing it. He says, only you that I see it. I'm not seeing anything. As we are talking, no food for us. I said, our fu- the future, if you see the future I'm seeing, the light is so bright. He said, I'm not even seeing any single light, not to talk of seeing bright light. She told me, no, we never enter. We are still coming. Now me, they see him. She goes, soon see him. Ask your neighbor, what are you seeing? Don't let what people see to delay you. Don't let what people see. It's one thing to pray that God bless me. It's another thing to believe that God can bless you. So many people believe that God, they are not, they cannot be blessed. That there are some people that can be blessed, not people like me. They say, oh, there are people here that are going to receive a hundred million contract very soon. They will be counting people. They will count themselves. It's a wrong mindset. There are people to get hundred million contract. Number one. That's how it works. If you don't believe in you, nobody believes in you. When I was apologetic in my teaching, I was very small and life was difficult. When I began to speak my belief system, life changed for me. Calling those things that be not as though they were. Told my wife, I said, they gave birth to you. They gave birth to me. We were born our own. That was all. Satan was disarmed. When the baby started coming, they were attacking with miscarriage. I stood by my word. They born me. They born you. We go born. And God made it happen. In this kingdom, it is voice activated. If you forget anything, don't forget what I've just said. Speak those things that you believe. Don't speak what you are seeing. Papa, you preach a message in the 80s. He said, call out the answer and not the need. The need is already there. The problem is there. Speak and overdub over what you are seeing. Calling those things that be not as though they were. You have what it takes. You have what it is. Come on, say, I hear you. So, your system of advantage is your man of God. And he called them to pronounce blessing upon their life. Second Chronicles 20, 20. It said, believe in the Lord your God. Thou shalt be established. Believe his prophet. Thou shalt prosper. So shall you prosper. So, your prosperity is linked to the prophet of God over your life. God's channels of blessings. Is spread out in that scripture. Your man of God is your system of advantage to excel from one level to another. Your growth, your prosperity, your success in life, your fruitfulness is a product of the revelation of the man of God that you follow. There are some that are using fear to enrich themselves and having more customers. They will put fear in you and tell you to come to the secret. When you come to the secret, they collect money from your head. Collect your house, collect your car. And you go there, you always see people packed full. All those people are there. They are no worshippers. They are customers. They can't do business. They are not coming there to worship God. If you think they came to worship, it's a lie. They are just waiting for a moment of prophecy. Now prophecy, they can't collect. If the trumpet sound, you'll be shocked how many people that will go to heaven. You are blessed already. Yeah. I said you are blessed already. Yeah. Your lifting can never be affected. Yeah. You are moving upward. Yeah. God is taking you higher. Yeah. 
Every grace is provoked and not conjured. Line up properly with your man of God and see God. How? Follow his teaching. Follow his instruction. You will see the manifestation. Covenant speaks volumes of grace that may relationship with your man of God. Enter covenant relationship. Covenant relationship. When you are into people struggle, they struggle because they see their relationship with their man of God as casual. No, 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 no. I, don't, I just go to church. I don't get time for anybody. I just go there, hear the word and I go out. That's all. My dear, that's how your life will be. No. You must enter a covenant. The covenant of obedience to divine instruction. As the word is coming, please take it to heart. Go and practice it and see how it works. It works. It works. Your marriage is blessed. Your business is blessed. Your family is blessed. Your home is blessed. Your academics is blessed. Your relationship is blessed. Your womb is sanctified. Godly seeds are coming out from that seed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Quickly, let me give you how to assess God's blessing. Number one, be convinced that God wants to bless you. Be convinced. God is for you. Romans 8.31 If God be for us, who can be against us? If you are against you, then you are against God. Believe in yourself and God will do it for you. That is kingdom mindset. Most times we hinder what we receive from God because we don't believe we are worthy to have it. God has qualified us in Christ. We have been qualified. All you have to do is just receive all that he has for you. Come on, say I hear. Colossians chapter 1 verse 12. It says, blessing. Okay, let's read it. Colossians chapter 1 verse 12. And Galatians 3, 14. In Colossians 1, it says, Giving thanks unto the Father which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritances of the inheritance of the saints. Where? In light exposure. In Galatians chapter 3, verse 14, it said that the blessing of Abraham might come. So if you don't believe you are worthy of it, you can have it. That we might receive the promise through faith. Promise of the Spirit through faith. Come on, say, I hear you. Number two. First of all, you believe that, be convinced that God wants to bless you. Number two, know what the blessing is. Because if you don't know what the blessing is, you will abuse it. When you know what the blessing is, you will expect it. In Proverbs chapter 10 verse 12, it said the blessing of the Lord, he make it rich. He had no sorrow. Let's read it in NIV and NLT. See the way they put it. NIV first. Proverbs 10, 22. Your understanding of scripture is your prescription for living. The blessing of the Lord brings what? Wealth. And he adds no trouble to it. NLT. The blessing of the Lord makes a person rich and he had no sorrow with it. So you must know what the blessing is. From what I said, I said the blessing, the ancient definition of blessing means anointed to win, empowered to overcome, impossible to cause. When you know that you are anointed to win, you dare, you take risk. When you know you are empowered to overcome, you are not afraid of what the enemy will do. When you also understand that it's impossible to be cursed, let the man be ranting, walk out of him. I say, take nonsense. Say, return back to sender. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. So you must know that. Don't get it twisted. Challenges can come. You are in Christ does not stop you from having challenges. Challenges is the platform champions are raised. No challenge no kingship. Go and ask David and Goliath. Challenge your challenge. Be bold enough. Understanding the, bene the, the definition of the blessing. Anointed to win any battle. Empowered
power to overcome any situation. Impossible to be caused by anything or anybody. Then you dare anything. And finally, position yourself to receive the blessing. Position yourself to receive the blessing. It's one thing for you to say, I need the blessing. It's another way to understand how to receive the blessing. The blessing is released through what? Declaration. First Peter 2 9, he said, We are royal priesthood. I find it difficult to go to churches where they don't release prophetic declarations. I find it difficult. I can't sit there. You just teach, 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 and lead prayers. Prayers of fear. Every enemy in our house that is fighting my father, fall, fall down and die, fall down and die. And you are praying. When you finish at the end, you start suspecting everybody around you. No. Don't submit your head to anybody that does not carry the blessing by declarations. When Hannah was looking for a child, I close with that. First Samuel chapter 1 verse 17. I close with that. Hannah got her child because a prophet made declaration. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. Go in peace. My daughter, it is done. Whatever there is a pain in your life, it is settled. Go and sleep. The Lord has done it for you. Don't forget, this is your week of the blessing. Rise on your feet. This is your week of the blessing. Every power that attack blessing, today you are anointed to pull them down. Today you are empowered to overcome them. And today by the authority in the name of Jesus, you are impossible to be cursed. Whosoever that causes you, they wait for the, the, uh, the anger of God. God is showing up for you. It is your season to rise. God bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you and give you peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.